What is up guys? Today we are playing some Tower Defense Simulator. I know it's been a lot of time, but before we begin, I just want to say, uh, huge shout out to the creator of this game if if you're watching, because I cannot get over how awesome the trailer looks, like the new one. So huge shout out for that, because uh it just looks epic. Also, if you're wondering how to get up here, I'll show you uh real fast basically you jump to this tree or that tree then you jump to this golden part of the sign and then you try to jump up to that part i suggest that you kind of jump back because if you look at the sign closely it is slanted a bit so what i suggest you do is you start on a higher part of the ground and then go to a lower and then jump up on a lower part that way you won't have to make as big of a jump and it'll be easier but uh anyways let's get into today's video today what i'm going to be showing you guys how to do is i'm going to show you guys how to beat badlands now what you're going to want first of all do is assuming you're a pro get pretty much the best towers you have because that's necessary um if you just join this game or you don't think you have two good towers then what i suggest that you do is you get some people well uh, that have good towers that you know and then they can help you beat the map now i suggest that you also have as many people as possible so it's good that we have four people right now otherwise we might not stand a chance you have to keep in mind that badlands does have two sides where zombies come out so you are in me mega danger also why was i sand right there i don't know but basically if you, uh, just for safety, choose Molten. If you choose be no, don't choose Fallen like this guy is doing. Molten. Please. But, uh, don't do Beginner. Because Beginner is easy. Um. But, you won't get Cowboy. So, you're gonna want to do Molten, which is the next easiest mode, and it gives you Cowboy. So, um, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to get towers as soon as possible. So, uh, right now we're kind of failing on that. <laughs> right now we're kind of failing on that. Uh, yeah, we're kind of failing on the placing strategy. What you're probably going to want to do is you're probably going to want to try to make it, um, uh, um, you're probably gonna want to make the sides even, so uh, keep that in mind. I'm doing a, because I'm doing a vid on how to beat it on normal. I'm wrecked right now. Hello. <laughs> We need enough for more towers, because we don't have any except this mortar right here, which still isn't going to do much. So, what you're basically going to want to do, um, is you're going to want to try to get the, um, is you're going to want to try and get the best towers that you possibly can as fast as you can. How does this guy have a cowboy when I don't have enough money for it? I don't know. I feel like that's a glitch, because I'm not getting as much money as other players, I feel like, because... Um, uh, because, well, basically, um, players get things way before me. I don't know why. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like this cowboy is doing a pretty good job. This, that row over there. Looked like it got defeated completely, so that's good. Now we just need to pr protect that side, so I'm going to put a cowboy over there. Hopefully, the range won't glitch out a bit, because there is a glitch in this game where for some reason the range glitches out. And even though the zombies are in the blue circle, the towers don't attack them. Same thing with DJ. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Just keep that in mind. Oh, well, now we're having trouble with this side. That's great. 
that's just great. But basically, like I said again, just trying to balance the sides as much as possible, and you shouldn't have any problems. If you place a bunch of stuff in the middle, and yes, you kind of are protecting both sides, but the thing with that is, is that both sides, well, there's only one set of towers, but even though they're all morphed together, the problem with that is that it can only ta uh, it can only take one side at a time. Therefore, one side is going to get defeated, but the other side is going to make it to the end because the because your towers won't be focusing on them. So that's why I suggest that you put them on um on these areas near the beginnings of the paths, uh, and not like right here in the middle of them just that way you don't have a bunch of zombies piled up and then you lose because that's not what you want to happen also i know that i'm using cowboy during this uh basically if you have soldier or um anything else that's decent slash good but is also really cheap just place that at the beginning um I'm using Cowboy because I need to get more money for my, uh, mini gunners. Because I actually just got a Platinum mini gunner yesterday, so that's pretty awesome. It's pretty good. But, um, if you don't have Cowboy, but you still want to get a lot of money fast, and this is actually real, and what you can do is really easy. Just buy farm, like this guy has, and then basically, you can just farm money for the entire game. Well, not for the entire game. For a while until you get a lot of money. I suggest that you place down four, four-ish farms. And then, uh, four to six farms, actually. Uh, and then upgrade them to level three. <clears throat> and if you have minigunner or outlaw inside of your, uh, inside of, inside of your loadout, which not everyone has outlaw. So you don't need, you, it, you don't need it on this map. But it's extremely helpful. Um, but basically, just place farms, that way you can get those really fast. If you already have the cowboy, and you're just trying to help someone, then I suggest that you just skip farms entirely, because basically, cowboy is an attacking farm. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I just realized that these sides are not balanced, so I have to try better on that. Uh, because I forgot to place cowboys over here, so that's not good. But, um... It can get a bit hard at times, which is why I suggest that you have a ton of people with you. Um, I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure if you get the cowboy on mega servers. So just in case, I wouldn't do it there. Unless you know for a fact that, um, <clears throat> that you can get it there. But still, I wouldn't do it there. Because I'm not sure. I've never tried doing this map on mega servers, even though it would be a lot easier, because I've always I've always had to help my friends a bunch of times on this map, so that way they could get cowboy because they really want it. Uh, so <clears throat> because of that, I've um I've always just done it on this because I'm not sure if mega servers give it. But anyways, basically don't skip. Unless absolutely positively necessary. Try not to skip at all. Kind of like what you do in fall-in mode if you were getting uh, hit rapidly. Just do not, whatever you do, do not skip. Because otherwise, a bunch of zombies will pile up and you won't be able to take them all down. Therefore, you'll die. So, uh, what I suggest that you also do if you have cowboy is I suggest that you only put two on each side. Because you don't really need more than four cowboys entire, uh, entirely. So, you can just put down four. My strategy is put down four cowboys, and then they'll all just generate money pretty fast most of the time. Sometimes they don't, though, because it's just, a, it's like one out of a, one out of an eleven chance, I believe. I, I could be wrong with that, but I think so. Um, but basically, just, uh, don't skip, try to balance the, on uh, the lanes out as much as possible. We're gonna have to do different parts of this video, because YouTube, for some reason, does not like my videos that are over, well, most of them, that are over 15 minutes long, so we're gonna do a part two, it's gonna be released tomorrow. We're not ending the video here, though, because, uh, we still have a lot of time left, but, um, Basically, if you have, uh, 
outlaw, then that's going to really help you on this map. But if you have minigunner, then that will also pretty help. That will also help you a lot. As you can see, I have I have an added boost since I have a platinum skin. Uh, and a platinum skin, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure what the bullet means though. I believe it it's uh, it means plus 25 percent more damage. I could be wrong with that because the damage hasn't changed. It's the same boost as John though. So uh, yeah. Basically, we just gotta keep shooting this normal boss right here. And, uh, yeah, just again, spam mini gunners if you have it. If you have outlaws, just try to balance them evenly on um, this. Um, so, I suggest that you put some outlaws over here. If you run out of space for outlaws or any other cliff um, type tower, then put them over here. Uh, you should only have to put, like, one or two over here, though, uh, because you'll have three or four outlaws over here. And then put the other five right on these buildings. You should actually have just enough space. So that is actually, that actually works out pretty well. You shouldn't have to place them anywhere else if you place them correctly. Uh, which I'll show you guys how to do in, uh, probably... Maybe in the next part, I, I, maybe, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough money, but, uh, I can try to show it before we end this video, but basically, if you have cliffside towers, then put an outlaw right here, for this side, if you have enough money, upgrade it to level 1, level 2 is not necessary yet, because it costs a ton, and it's just more worth it to, uh, get a new outlaw, so, uh, yeah, just get new outlaws as much as possible. But, uh, just place one there. And also, you have to place this in a specific order. So, keep in mind where I'm placing it and when I'm placing it. Otherwise, it's not going to work because of the, uh, red spots. Uh, but basically, you just place two on the front of the, uh, hotel. Uh, right there. Uh, so, just do that. Also, if you're trying to balance it evenly, like I was doing, then you should probably place them up here while you're placing those over there. But, uh, this can kind of hit over here, so I mean, I'm not too worried about it right now. I mean, it is a little bit uneven, but still, we should be okay. Um, and then, once you get another outlaw, pretty much do the exact same thing, except on the roof, but do not, whatever you do, do not place it up here. Otherwise, that is going to mess it up entirely, and you'll only be able to have three on the houses. Uh, if you do, if you do it in the order that I do it, then you should be able to have five. So do not place it up there. Otherwise, like I said, you won't have as many. But basically, just place two on the sides, like like that, and then um, just well, I need another. I need enough money for another one. Can I please have enough money for another one? Okay, you need more money. We're halfway there. We're actually more than halfway there. But as you can see, the outlaws do a lot. But then, now that you have five, now you can place it on the top. Because if you place it too early, then you won't be able to put these two on here. Because the uh, red boxes will collide. And it will not turn out good. But this is what I mean by, uh, you can't have the, uh, you can't just put everything in the middle. Because as you can see, the minigunner was only focusing on the towers, over, on the zombies over here. But, uh, that is going to be it for part one. If you guys enjoyed, then make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel or you want some more Roblox Tower Defense Simulator. And I'll leave a link to part two once it comes out, which will be tomorrow. Um, but everybody, peace out.